Hello family, this is Gamers Forum back with another interesting video on Clash of Kings. So guys, if you're new to your channel, please subscribe it on because this channel is fully focused on tips and tricks regarding Clash of Kings. You'll get all the necessary data and details over each and every event over this channel. So guys, today video I'm going to make you guys learn that how you can make a perfect array set for your particular troops guys. Whether it is for offensive or defensive purpose, after watching this video completely, you will learn everything for sure guys. So let's begin the video without wasting any time. When we talk about the basic intro of the array, so the array can be used to maintain out the stats or to rebuild your weakness. Means if you have less of the health in certain troops, then you you can use some of the health arrays to maintain that one. So basically, the array system is just to make your particular weakness as a strong point and to repair the weakness you need a perfect array guys so in today's video we are going to learn that one only basically for knowing out about array you have to visit out the troops and there are three different segments out here first one is the array overview in array overview you can check out what arrays you have unlocked on you can see what are the random attribute what the stuff they are supporting on in the array section you can was the arrays that you are having on basically there are two different arrays that is in unlock from the day first but you can unlock more of the array pages by spending some of the gold and the third one is the uh, sector is the array exercise there you can get three of the different array exercise to get three random attributes array daily guys so collect it for free no metals so let's start with the array overview guys Whenever you are going to go for the array overview, it is just for learning that what are the arrays that you are having on, you should have to learn on. There are different qualities of array, basically start from the um, uh, green one and st stops with the gold one guys, gold or orange whatever it is. So these are the different levels out here, but there are different of the bonuses out here. Uh, for if you have any of the green array, you will get one of the random attribute with it. If you have blue array, you can get two random attributes with it. For the purple, you get three random attributes. And for the orange or gold, you get four of the random stats, guys. So these are the things how all the array work on. Now let's come to the array set. When we come to the array page, there are different slots in the array page. Eight different slots for eight different arrays you can fix out. But whenever you are going to go for the slot or whenever you are going to uh, fix out arrays in array of the slot, keep in mind that what stats you are focusing on. Basically, this is a new castle. I have chosen this castle to make you guys understand the array system is because if I show that big arrays that I invested on in my other castle, you will think that it is so much hard for me to get on. That's why I'm starting with the lower level castle so that you can easily understand that particular thing. So basically, I am focusing on infantry and cavalry stats. So at that point, I will try to maintain all the slots being fixed up to the infantry and cavalry only. And I will try to make the arrays useful in the formation which is mean affecting or promoting my infantry and cavalry stats only. So that's all. At this particular page, it is an offensive page that I have built on from my personal experience. It is having four of the purple infantry, four of the purple cavalry arrays out here. So in the bonuses, if I talk about the infantry bonuses, for the purple of two set attributes, I'm getting additional 6% attack. And for the set of four, I'm getting 6% of the HP bonus. So basically, this is the same for both the infantry and cavalry units I'm getting on, as you can see out here. So this is the offensive array set that I have made from my personal experience. So whenever it comes to talk about the offensive thing, one thing that keeps in uh, struggling in my mind is that what are the offensive attributes that I need on first thing is the offensive damage offensive damage taken reduction different of the troop damage critical damage critical damage taken reduction anti-critical damage so these are the stats uh, including the health and defense thing so these are the things that is being very much helpful during the attack or offensive purpose so i used to choose out all the arrays that is being supporting these things only so it is not that easy to find out a perfect array you have to struggle on you have to be patient but it will definitely work on you will definitely get it on 
so let me tell you show you that what are the arrays i am using on let's have a look at this particular infantry it is giving me infantry attack and defense it is very useful for me and this one is giving me infantry defense in a very huge amount guys 6% and 200 and 4.3% on each of the two random stats guys now let's come to cavalry you can see it is giving me cavalry health as well as cavalry attack as this castle is new this castle is lower level so i don't have that much health out it so i will try to fix my attack defense health and overall damage unit by this particular array only because it I'm going to repair my weakness that I'm having on from these arrays that that is what array is all about so let's come to the next one here you can see in the fourth array is a cavalry attack and cavalry critical damage is give is the additional random attribute that is I'm getting from 4.23 critical damage it is very much helpful out here infantry defense here again infantry critical damage taken taken 4.76 non rally offensive damage for infantry 1.39 and infantry critical rate by 5.39 percent guys so this is how all you have to choose on you have to choose out very precious arrays from the whole set that you have having on infantry health and infantry critical damage by 6 percent guys and infantry anti-critical rate by 2.31 percent it is a rare array of purple and i'm lucky to have it this one now let's come to the next cavalry array it is giving me reinforcement hp reinforcement defense and boost against enemies archer reduce damage from enemies archer reinforcement defense this is all i'm having on as you can see this purple array set this complete set is made by me with a lot of hard work i have participated in various events to gain this one from the platinum store from the one auction of my infantry gold array that I get from this one, I just bought all of these from that one only. So this is how what you have to choose on for the offensive purpose. You have to go for the damage thing for the offensive attributes for the array set. For the defensive purpose, try to go with the defense and the defensive things for the defensive purpose guys. So these are the two things that you have to keep in mind for the array and whatever troops you are focusing on you are focusing on archers then make a set of archers you are focusing on siege you can go with that if you are with the infantry and cavalry go with this one as do whatever you want just without any problem guys you should be confident you should be easy everything will be fine don't miss the air exercise daily three free exercise from this one and you can also participate in the platinum store auction try to sell your arrays and from all the platinum coins try to grab the new set of arrays from here and try to grab the minimum amount of focus on the coins try to invest less amount and try to get more from the array so this is how all it works on keeps on refresh until you don't get your desired amount and the desired array guys so these are the things that you have to do with the array I think that I have told you everything about array as you can see still I don't have much better equipment I'm very weak so I am repairing myself by using these arrays I'm repairing myself by doing some of the basic research in the college I'm trying to go with the civilization research to maintain my stats and you won't be surprised by seeing that my current stats without any bonus is this one guys isn't it bad isn't it good without any archangel nothing not even holy asylum having on just some of the excellent and some of the arctic set is giving me this one you can see using that array thing and all those skills and research my infantry health is already reached 170 percent and for a p5 and for a new castle that is being around 22 days back old out here it is very appreciating and i must recommend you that you can also go it on don't forget to make you so strong no one can beat you if you have your strength in yourself guys so that's all about today's video hope you guys like the video information that is being mentioned in this video now i am thinking that you will definitely build a perfect array for your troops and you will engage in the battle and try to overcome your weakness with those arrow and guys if you find the video information useful don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for sure share this video for other ones to learn that one 
and that's all about today's video i hope that i have told you everything that is being needed out here i'll be back with another video as soon as possible till then keep growing with gamers forum thank you guys